Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we'll look at FinChat.io, specifically Ask FinChat, their version of ChatGPT for finance. Let's dive in. Once you create a free account and click on Ask FinChat, you will get this dashboard. Now, let's enter our first prompt asking for a summary of Microsoft's last quarter with a focus on cloud business and include transcripts from the CEO. As you can see, we get a quick response and provides us a nicely formatted summary with key metrics, financials, and even transcript experts. Remember to also confirm the figures in case the AI sometimes is not accurate. It also gives you a breakdown for quarter 3 and quarter 4 and also includes charts and visuals that you can easily interpret and customize to suit your need. Finchart.io is trained on up-to-date financial data, earnings, quarterly and annual reports, investing books, and granular business KPIs with sources among others. Next, we can ask Finchart to provide information on Meta's financial performance on EBITDA. Again, it will quickly give you summaries that will help you easily see the financial information and give you a head start on where you can dig in. You can also filter to view annual, quarterly, or trailing and break down the information into different years from three years, five years, and more. Also note that some of the features are restricted unless you subscribe to the paid plan, which starts from $29 per month. Since FinChat is AI-powered, let's test its limits. We will ask it to provide insights on the future stock market outlook. It smartly starts with a disclaimer that the feature is inherently uncertain. While it can provide perspectives, don't treat them as guarantees. Do your own research. You can also ask related follow-up questions. For example, the last question, are there any specific sectors or industries that are expected to perform well? And we get a response that includes technology, healthcare, and renewable energy as potentials for growth. Now, let's ask our own question. Could you suggest five companies to invest in the stock market? And it gives you a list, and if you scroll down, you'll be asked for more information to help narrow down your search using filters, and you can even add country, industry, among others. Then, once you're done with the changes, you can regenerate and see what you get. You can continue to drill down as you'd like until you get what you're looking for. FinChat can also handle long prompts like this one and it'll give you a rundown of what you're looking for. Unlike ChatGPT, FinChat is able to give you access to granular financial data in real time with data on 750 plus companies, 100 plus super investors, 10,000 plus financial metrics and 10,000 pages as or investing material. You can be assured that the information will be helpful. On the free plan, you you also get 25 free prompts per month and a user-friendly AI-powered chatbot interface. As we have seen, Ask FinChat provides a response based on user's query using information from various sources to provide a comprehensive and well-reasoned answer. However, one potential drawback is its limited coverage on companies and investors, which may not be sufficient for investors looking for information on smaller companies and lesser-known entities. Despite this limitation, FinChat.io is a powerful tool for anyone working in the finance industry who needs quick, accurate answers to financial questions. Other features include a new standard for fundamental research, better data for decision making, your own AI assistant, which we looked at, and the ability to customize your terminal and dashboards. It is also trusted by 150,000 plus investors and organizations, and it's built for investors by investors. In conclusion, FinChart generates reasonable responses grounded in financial data, and we can continue refining questions to get useful suggestions. FinChat version 2.0 is introduced merging the platforms of FinChat and Stratosphere. Key features include the dashboard for portfolio management, customized metrics, visualized portfolio composition, notification panel, summary page with unique segment KPIs, analysis tools for ratios, and screening capabilities using natural language queries among others. While ChatGPT seems impressively smart across many topics, it does have some limitations when it comes to finance. For starters, its knowledge cuts off in 2021, lacks some of the financial analysis tools, and while its responses sound professional, some of the financial figures cited are more hypothetical than real. Finchart.io, on the other hand, uniquely combines an AI assistant with real-time financial data. This enables fast access to accurate information for data-driven investing and analysis. So, if you are an accountant, financial analyst, investment manager, or simply interested in understanding some financials, try out finchart.io. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.